Okay, so the future value is equal to P1 plus I raised to N. So we have 2,500 multiplied by 1.035 raised to 48. We have a total of 11,605.47 after 12 years. Next, another problem. If 3,700 pesos is invested at 12% compounded semi-annually. So, already done with quarterly, no? Ngayon, semi-annually po siya. Ibig sabihin nun, every 6 months. For 5 years. Solution, P is equal to 3,700. Yung interest rate po natin, 12% po natin. Yung time natin, is 5 years, M is equal to 2. Dahil, semi-annually. So, N is equal to T multiplied by M. So, 2 times 5, we have 10. Okay? I is equal to 0. 0.12 divided by 2. Del semi annually po siya. The answer is 0. 0.06. So, future value, P, 1 plus I raised to N. So, we have 3,700 multiplied by 1 plus 0. 0.06. That is 1.06, no? Raised to 10. So, after 5 years, yung 3,700 natin, we're going to have a total or a future value or a majority value of 6,626.14 pesos. So, with that, kumita po tayo ng 2,926.14 pesos. Yun po yung interest ng ating pera after five years. Next, formula for interest rate. Should you wish to work out the average yearly interest rate, you're getting your savings, investment, personal loan, or car loan. This formula can help. Note that you should multiply your results by 100 to get a percentage figure in terms of percent. So formula to calculate interest rate, interest rate that is your R is equal to N multiplied by A, okay, divided by P raised to 1 all over N multiplied by T minus 1. Okay? Kasi ganito po siya, no? Kasi karamihan, ginagamit po natin sa mga previous example natin, kinukuha natin yung future value magkano yung kinita at magkano yung total ng pera po natin. For this one, the interest rate, ilang percent po ba ang pinabayaran ko? O ilang percent yung dapat? Okay? So, ito po siya. Ito yung formula po natin. It says that Mrs. Jefferson purchased an antique state U for $450. Ten years later, she showed that uh, she sold this statue for $750. If the statue is viewed as an investment, what annual rate did she earn? Okay? Kung baga, mabili siya ng ganito, tapos ipinta niya yung $750. So, ibig sabihin, after 10 years, kumuha siya ng, uh, kumita po siya ng $300. Doon sa $300, ilan yung interest para nagkaroon siya ng total na $750. Okay? Yung interest rate ang inihanap po natin doon. Solution? If we view this as an investment, our principal is equal to $450. Then we know that the future value is A is equal to $750. This was after T is equal to 10 years. Finally, if we assume an annual rate, we will use M is equal to 1 and have A is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus R all over M raised to N multiplied by T. Okay? So, yung amount po niya after 10 years is 750. The principal is 450. 
1 plus r all over 1 raised to annually times 10 years. So, ibig sabihin, nanap natin yung interest rate. Hindi yung interest, ha? Interest rate. So, this is same as 750 equals to 450 1 plus r raised to 10. We are solving for the rate r. We'll do using the following steps. Divide both sides by 450. Ito po siya. So, we're going to divide both sides by 450. So, we have 750 divided by 450 is equal to 1 plus R raised to 10. Simplify on the left-hand side, but we need to be careful about rounding. So, we'll keep the fraction from now. So, if we're going to reduce into lowest term this one, we have 5 all over 3. Then we have equal 1 plus R raised to 10. Take the left-hand side to the 1 all over 10 power to clear the power of 10 on the right. So, i release natin ang itong dalawa, 1 all over 10. Okay, ito yung 1 all over 10. Ito, 10 all over 1 all over 10 will cancel. So, we have 5 all over 3, 1 all over 10, then 1 plus R. So, by using our calc U, calculate the value on the left and solve for R. So, 1.0524 is equal to 1 plus R. So, 1.0524, okay? Then, minus 1 is equal to R, okay? So, we have 0.0524, okay? So, if we're going to have that one, multiply by 100%. Therefore, Mrs. Jefferson earned an annual rate of 5.24%. Not bad, no? So, ibig sabihin, kumita siya ng 5.24% doon sa investment niya from 450 naging 750. So, that's the way how we're going to compute the interest rate of our investment. Okay? Pero sabi naman dito, there's another applications, no? But there was definitely some more complicated algebra involved. In some cases, you may even have to make use of logarithm. A common situation where you might see this is when calculating the doubling time of an investment at a given rate. So, how are we going to have that when? Example po dito, no? Sabi niya, how many years will it take for an investment to double in value if it returns 5% compounded annually. Okay? So, there are some uh, firms, no? Hindi natin alam kung ano mo yun, no? Pero may nakikita po tayo, invest today, no? Double your money within 10 years. Parang ganun po siya, no? Okay. So, how did he compute that? Okay? So, paano tayo magkakaroon ng doubling investment after a certain period? So, if I'm going to invest 1 million, I will do to double my money. So, this is now your formula. Kanina, we're looking for the interest, no? Ano yung interest ng ating investment? Dito, kailan kayo magiging doble, triple yung pera ko pag kayo ay nag-invest. So, dito, it may seem tough to decide where to start here. Pero sabi niya, as we are only given the rate R, which is equal to 0 0.05. And the number of compounding periods M is equal to 1. Note that we are trying to find the time denoted as T. Okay? Since we do not know the initial investment, we can simply call it P as the principal. For this to double, its value would be 2P. Okay? So, yung initial investment natin is P, then, dudublin po natin 2P. Okay? And using the compound interest formula, we have A is equal to P, quantity 1 plus R, all over M, raised to N, multiplied by T. So, we have 2P is equal to P, 1 plus 0.05, ito yung interest niya, no? Divided by 1, 
kasi annually po siya, no? Then, raised to T. How long? No? So, this could be written as 2P is equal to P. 0 0.05 divided by 1 is 1.05 raised to T. Then, remember that this would only make a sense if the amount invested is not zero. So, we can divide both sides by the P. This gives, so cancel na yung P, no? Cancel yung P. What's level B? 1.05 raised to T. So, pag titinan po natin, my dear students, there are some algebra concerns or equations kung saan yung hinahanap po natin ay nasa exponent. Tulad po dito, nasa exponent po siya. Okay? Yung mga iba, nandito sa sa base, no? Diba? 2x is equal to 1.05. Madaling hanapin. x will be 1.05 divided by 2, so nakagat. Pero in this case, I hope that you must familiarize or memorize how we're going to solve this kind of equation if the unknown is in the exponent. So, paano po natin gagawin? We're going to use the properties of logarithm. Okay? Sabi dito, to solve for t, we'll take the natural logarithm. Loan of both sides by the laws of logarithm. So, this will allow bring the exponent to the front. So, we have ln 2 is equal to t ln 1.05. Simplifying it further, t now will be ln 2 divided by ln 1.05. So, by using your calculus, pakipress ln 2 divided by ln 1.05 equal, the answer is 14.2 years. So answer, it will take a little more than 14 years before the investment will double in value. So alam ba, kung nag-invest ka ng 10 million, after 14 years, magiging 20 million na po siya. If the interest is 5% compounded annually. Okay? Sabi niya dito, the same process could be used to determine when an investment would triple or even quadruple, we just use a different multiple of P in the first part of the formula. Okay? So another example, when will 30,000 earn interest of 15,000 if it is invested at the rate of 7.5% converted annually? Okay? So, sabi dito, Nag-invest ka ng 30,000, tapos may interest siya ng 15,000. Rate niya is 7.5%. So, how long? When? Pag Magpamaturity siya, no? So, we want to find T. So, ano yung T natin? How long, no? Given, F is equal to 45,000. Yung future value, no? Dati, 30,000 siya. Tapos nakaroon siya ng interest na 15,000. So, the future value is 45,000. Yung principal natin is 30,000. Interest natin, 7.5%. Tapos, compounded annually. M is equal to N. So, by using our formula, future value is equal to P, 1 plus I raised to N. So, yung future values natin is 45,000 equal 30,000 1 plus 0 0.05 yung interest natin. Divided by annually, raised to n is equal to 1.5. Paano na ko yung 1.5? 45,000 divided by 30, we have 1.5. Equal 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to n. So again, we're going to use the properties of logarithm. So therefore, n will be log 1.5 divided by log 1.05. So, n is equal to 5.6065. So, it will take 5 years, 0 0.065 years para magkaroon ka ng future value ng 45,000 pesos. So, that is our compound interest. Okay? So, next we have your the present value. 
So ano yung pagkakaiba nila doon sa dati? Ito yung sample dati. When you say present value, ito po yung kailangan natin ngayon para magkaroon tayo ng ganitong amount. So halimbawa, pag kailangan ko ng 50,000 for 10 years, 10 years from now, no? Magkano po ang dapat kong i-deposit ngayon para after 10 years ay magkakaroon ako ng 50,000. Okay? So, it's a good idea, no? Magkano kaya? So, magkano kayong di-deposit ko buwan-buwan or every quarter or yearly or semi-annually para pag ganitong taon, magkakaroon ako ng ganitong amount. So, ito po siya yung computations pa natin. Okay? Present value defined as the principal P which is invested at a given time T at a given interest rate R which will amount to F when F is due. So, P is equal to F 1 plus I raised to negative N. Bakit negative po siya? Dahil present, current po siya. Dito lang noon, future, kaya positive N po siya. So, example, find the present value of 42,000 due at the end of 3 years and 9 months if money is invested at 5.6% compounded quarterly. Okay? Sabi po niya, pag ganito yung value ko, value ng ating investment after 3 years and 9 months, magkano po yun ang dapat i-deposit ko ngayon at 5% compounded quarterly. So, P is equal to 40,000. That's our future value. 1 plus 0.014. Okay? Yung 5.6 dito is divided by 4. Quarterly po siya, no? 0 0.056 divided by 4. The answer is 0 0.14. Tapos yung negative 15, 3 years and 9 months. 3 years, there are 12. Plus 9 months, okay? Uh, 3 times 4, no? Quarterly po siya. Yung 3 years, so there are 12 quarters. Tapos yung 9 months, that is 3 quarter. So for a total of 15. So raise to negative 15. So kailangan mo ng 34,094.16 pesos na i-deposit ngayon para after 3 years and 9 months with 5.6% compounded quarterly, magkakaroon ka ng total value ng 42,000 pesos. Yun po yung tiyatawag nating present value. So again, that ends the end of the first topic in our week 11, which is all about simple and compound interest. Thank you.